guys, my name's Neil. If you've ever watched my channel, you know I put a lot of slot machine videos up on my channel. Uh, I like to show you my big wins and just some regular slot machine bonuses so you can take a look at it. Uh, but today I thought I'd put together an informational video so you can kind of learn from my strategy on how I leave the casino with money. So if you have ever played slot machines, you know to leave the casino with money, it's kind of hard unless you have a big hit or you hit a jackpot or something like that. But most days when you go, it doesn't really work like that. So I'm on my way to the casino right now. I'm about 40 minutes away and I'm taking about $360 with me, all in $20 bills. So if you play slots, you gotta be lucky. Uh, that's really all it is. There's not too much strategy. You just hit the button and it goes and it either pays you or it doesn't. So. I've implemented a money management strategy, which I'm pretty religious on, and it always helps me leave the casino with some money. Sometimes I'll be up and sometimes I'll be down, but I'm never going home broke, and that's a good feeling. So basically what I do is I'll take a $20 bill and I'll stick it in a machine, and if I ever am up above $25, I'll cash it out. So that nets me a minimum of a $5 profit off that $20 bill. If I want to keep playing with that machine, I'll stick a new dollar or a new $20 bill in that machine and I'll do it again. If I'm over 25, cash out, get my ticket and start over or go back to the ticket redemption machine. When I have a whole bunch of tickets, I go to the machine uh, to cash them in and I do each one individually. So I'll stick one say it's $25, a $25 ticket in, and out comes a $20 bill and a $5 bill. So what I'll do, I'll do that with all of my tickets, and usually I'm left with a stack of $20 bills and a stack of fives and ones. So what I'll do with those fives and ones is I'll just put them in my pocket and not play with it. That's the money I'm going home with, and I'll continue to play with my $20 bills. This allows me to play for some time. Like, I can fill up a whole day kind of with that strategy, and by the end of the day, I'm stuck with a lot of fives and ones, sometimes over $200 worth. The other thing I do is I bring a bank. I bring a little bank. It's like this. It fits in my pocket. And what I do is I leave the key at home. So if I'm ever, you know, feeling good or up a lot, what I'll do is I'll stash 20s or 100s or 50s in this bank. And I can't access them until I go home. So for sure I'm going home with money if I put money in the bank, plus my fives and ones. So that's a way that I leave the casino with money and I'm able to play and have some fun. So what I'll do is I'll show you some live video, kind of, of what I mean, and maybe some photos, and hopefully I'll hit big, and I'll be able to come home a winner. If not, I'll still be coming home with some money, and that's always a good feeling. So let's take a look at how okay, I Okay, let's give it a shot. I just got to the casino, and I'm gonna stick a $20 bill in a uh, Wicked Winners 2. So it's a percent denomination, so we'll see how I do. I'll do a dollar spend. Okay, so that one's missing the actual button. We'll do two bucks to spin. Let's cross our fingers. That's a good start. I actually hit a jackpot on this. I got, my only time I ever got five ravens was on this machine for 3,200 bucks. Money back. This is about three spins. Nothing on the re-trigger, but that looks like a winner for me. So this is where I cash out. Let's see how much I get. Thirty-three dollars. There we go. So this is where we start over. I'll do it again. So I'll continue to show more live play throughout the day and we'll see how it we got a touch of magic. We'll do a dollar a bet and see how it goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
turn the one you have the most of in a while is the best chance of getting a good line hit. Worthy of a cash out. So cash that out, got $37. Okay, we got this one, I've never tried it before. It's called Dragon World. It's got some progresses if you get five of those symbols in a row. Put 20 bucks in, let's do 80 cents a bet. I'm guessing those dragon symbols, that one, that gold one is the bonus. Get the unicorns with a 
kings or queens or lions, that's going to pay good for sure. Alright, so I got five of those berries and that pays 100 quarters, that's 25 bucks. Just me a 35 pay on Aftershock. Okay, so here's what I cashed out, a whole bunch of 20s and 5s and 1s. I even got a $100 bill out of the deal. So I'm going to take these 5s and 1s, which is probably, like, I don't know, 40 or 50 bucks here, put those in my pocket, I'm going to fold up this $100 bill, and stick it in my little bank here. And uh, see if we can uh, make some more money to go home with. So I'm going home with, gosh, a $100 bill for sure. And, uh, some fives and ones, and I'm gonna keep playing with these 20s. I got a whole stack of 20s to keep playing with, so that'll keep me going for a while. Continue my strategy with cashing out uh, anytime I'm over 25 bucks, and we'll see how I do. So, there you go, guys. That's how I do it. I'm glad you were able to see a little bit of my money management strategy. Anytime I'm over 25, I cash it out.
So I put $100 in the bank and I have lots of ones and fives and a lot of change in my pocket. So going home with about $200, not a winner on the day, but uh, definitely not going home broke. And that's the, the whole purpose of it. So thank you for watching. I'd love to hear about your guys' thoughts on how you manage your money, if there's any innovative ways that you stash money away at the casino uh, to walk home with some money or walk home a winner. Feel free to comment and always please subscribe. I hope to put many more fun videos up in the future for you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.